welcome to the Science of Fashion channel where you will learn how to revive, restore, redeem and renew your own garments. In this video, I'm showing you how to upcycle the baby bib into this. Follow me and don't forget to hit the bell with subscribing to be alerted to new videos and stick to the end for a bonus tip. The pattern for this bib shoe, I base this on my um, nephew's oh, shoe. So the measurements that you get for your feet, you have to measure it. So um, looking at the children's spec and seeing how much it is, and that will be the measurement. And this is what I always do. I always try to see how the pattern is gonna look like. And I added already um, 0.5 seam allowance. That is little feet, and then um, so there you have it, and then this will go like that. And then this bit will be elastic, so it will go like that, elastic. And now I'm going to do my other half. It's going to be cut in. See, it's not wide, it's too wide. So, what I will have to do is follow this curve like that. And so, I'll mark what I'm missing. So, I'm missing this much that I need to fill in. So this, this is this part, and I'm missing the in-between. Then I have these two that I'm gonna lay on top of each other. And then I have this that I wanna cut out. So it's gonna be in two parts, half of it. I'm gonna do that because I know that it's, there was a gap when I put it together. So I'm gonna do it like this. Just making sure that's the seam allowance. Approximately one cm. Do it like this. So that, that will be that. It's two pieces. And it's a seam allowance I can stitch together. So I'm using all scrap. on top here I can put that there and that there and it will be turned around so I will turn it around like this should have not done my pencil but hey ho and it'll go like this just to fill up the gap once I stitch it together then yeah For decoration purposes, I'm using a cross stitch. So that's this stitch to decorate it and so it looks a little bit prettier than your normal overcast stitch. But you can keep it as an overcast stitch as well if you so want to. Okay, so it's basically crossing over 
like that and then going to the next one and then crossing over and then going to the next one and then crossing over so it's going over the stitches you already done um, but there is a way of just doing it once but I'm just going over it because I think it's much nicer to do a cross stitch um, on this particular case and you can just fold it I will cut this off and I want to make sure it's the same height it's a bit like oh, oh, oh. it's not really nice so I just need to make sure it's nice and level I'm going to fold it over so for the next one that you're going to do you have this so that you make sure you have the middle section and um, not nipped which I didn't do okay and then um, you place this on top so that will be sewn together put a pin here that's why I wanted to keep the binding part you see like that sew around it you can do a um, running stitch overcast stitch backstitch whatever you feel comfortable doing so I'm just gonna do a um, I thought I'm gonna do overcast if I'm gonna do a blanket stitch so stitch around like that and that will keep this in place That is what I'm going to do all around here. Blanket stitch. Okay, so I've actually now just created um, the stitch. So the blanket stitch around there. So now I'm going to put this pattern that goes around here. Like that. To cover this. And I'm going to sew this together. So it's going to be like the back stitch. You might think like, oh, well, Susanna, why do you do that? So it's going to be like this. And I'm going to do, I'm doing a back stitch first of it. Then I'm going to sew it flat together. And that will be like this. That's the whole agenda of it all. <laughs> but I'm going to sew this down. Um, I think the overcast stitch would be nice. So I'm just gonna overcast stitch it, stitch it down. So we have this overcast stitch. You can go over it again um, and then it will be secured. So if you had done a nip, which I haven't, <laughs> but yeah, a nip to the center and then basically sew that here, sew that there. So center here and then here and then afterwards we'll go over it just till here and then the same goes just till here okay so as I mentioned we're going to sew all of this around and we're doing the blanket stitch it's such a nice stitch I truly enjoy the blanket stitch um, and if you can't do a blanket stitch which you know sometimes it doesn't always work you can do an overcast stitch it really you know doesn't matter so long it's actually um, closest to seam and you can do this with a very thick thread sometimes it doesn't always work even for me so don't give up you know it's a nice gift to give to somebody here we are at the corner section so now because this is um, like that it's a little bit overlay so it's gonna go like here so what I'm going to do from this point on I'm gonna go underneath and I'm gonna go like that and I'm gonna do like a stitch that goes underneath this stitch because it has a nice binding so I don't really need to see um, anything else and I'm gonna stop here so that's just one side and then on this part I'm doing like a running stitch but you can do a back stitch I think I'm gonna do a back stitch um, till this point here so there's a little bit of gap 
So the next bit that you do is you put a, a string of elastic all around till the start of the fastening. So um, the elastic will be 2cm shorter than the opening that you create and it'll be stitched with a running stitch or a back stitch. So I'm going to do a open that stitch first. So then I'm going to try to stitch here on the seam so that I don't see it coming through underneath here then so and that's what I'm going to do all the way around so it's gonna look like that you can stitch on top I mean I just don't want to see it <laughs> to be honest then don't forget to pull pull it while you're sewing your elastic in place making sure it's nice and secure and I'm basically doing the running stitch literally just doing the running stitch think when you know the running stitch you know a lot of stitches so and that's how it looks like you have the elastic inside it's very nice And then you have both these, you have a seam here, seam there, um, elastic in here, elastic in the channel, and that goes like that, that goes like that, and yeah, I'm just saying like, which one do you prefer, which one do you like, do you like this one or that one? So was this tutorial useful to you? Let me know. Like, comment below, and hit the bell when subscribing. Bye-bye!